welcome back to another video on Python conditional statements. Um, for anyone that's not familiar with programming or just Python in general, I'm going to kind of show you the syntax uh, for if-else statements and uh, conditional statements um, and what those are, or logic statements is really what I, uh, I actually mean by that. And we'll see in a moment kind of uh, what conditional statements do. Um, so what I mean by conditional statement is a certain condition needs to be met before uh, we can accomplish some part of code. So for example, I'm going to type in name, and then we're going to put uh, Pierce, right? I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here. Okay, and let's say if name equals equals which checks the equivalence um, to see if it is something. I think you can also do is. Um, if name is Pierce, then print, that is my name. So if I run this, Syntax is is a literal. Do you mean equal equal? Um, now it gives you a syntax warning. This is just a warning, so this is fine. Um, but if I go ahead and run this, it runs it anyways and says if name is Pierce, and it actually prints out that is my name. So if I go ahead and do equal equal, it says that is my name. So you have the name, the variable, equals uh, Pierce, and then if name equal equal Pierce, print this out. So what if name, the variable name, uh, had to equal uh, potato? So it was potato, right? If I went ahead and ran this, that code is not going to run. So the condition is if the variable name equals Pierce, or equals equals potato, then do all the code that's one tab over. And it's going to be one tab over all the way down. The next time that you do an if statement, if I did if name equals Pierce, then we can print that is my name. And then it actually prints that is my name, because what it does is code runs down so it'll read, oh, so there's variable name name, and if the name equals potato, then we want to print out that is my name. If the name, and after this one goes, of course, Pierce, the name Pierce is not potato, so then we go to the next line of code. So it says, if the name equals Pierce, then let's print that name out, or print out uh, that is my name. So, um, a quicker way of doing this is an if else, which is we do l if name equals Pierce, then we want to print my name is Pierce. Uh, my name is Po. So as you can see, if I go ahead and run this, it should print out my name is Pierce. So what happens is you fill this section of code with a conditional statement. This in the little brackets. This isn't real syntax, by the way. Um, but you fill out whatever this is right here with some sort of conditional. So uh, it, you could do if 7 equals 7 then let's run this code. So it says my name is potato and you may ask why didn't it print my name is Pierce? Well an elf an else if statement um, will only work if the previous statements did not work so uh, or is not true. So for example 7 does equal 7 so this code is going to work anything that's tabbed over 1 underneath this first conditional statement. Now another thing that you can check is if 7 does not 
equals 7, then it prints this instead. Uh, so we want to check that this side is not equal to this side. So for example, if uh, 7 does not equal um, if 7 does not equal or is not equivalent to 7, uh, then that comes out as a false statement. Um, so we're not checking to see if they're equal, right? We're checking if they're not equal. If 7 is not equal to 7, which is actually a false statement because it is equal to each other, then this isn't going to print. What's going to print is whatever is right here, which is the else if. Um, this also works for else statements where we can do else, and we don't even need to have a condition. We'll just say that by default, if we type in something else, then it's going to say my name is Pierce. We can also change else, we can um, chain elif statements. So else if name equals uh, Julia print Julia. So instead, I'm just going to print out the names with an exclamation mark. Whoop. And then we're going to do if name equals potato. There we go. So we have these, right? And they're all equal, and no matter what, it's going to print out Pierce. But if I change the variable to Julia, then it prints out Julia. So it's a series of... Um, if we go ahead and like read this in actual English, we'll notice that it says, If the name equals potato, then print out potato. If name equals Pierce, print out Pierce. And then if else, if all else fails, if name equals Julia, print out Julia. Now, if nothing is equal to, the, to those and all else fails, we're going to print out none of those names and then exclamation mark because why not so if we did julie with an i and then i ran this we get none of those names because that was the else or the last thing if all of this code doesn't apply then it's going to be this else statement that stands um also uh you can chain different commands or different conditions. So for example, if name equals potato and seven equals seven, then we want potato. So for example, if I do potato and we run this, we'll see that we get potato, right? But if I go ahead and do uh, num equals seven and we change this to num, we should notice that we get potato again, but if I change it to 8, now number here is the number 8, because, you know, this is 8, right? So we say if the name equals potato and 8 is equivalent to 7, then run potato, but it says none of these names because there are two conditions. The and statement checks to see if both of these are true. So, for example, name is equivalent to potato, which is true, right, in this case. And number, which I'm going to change back to 7, is equivalent to 7, so that would also be true. If name equals potato and number equals 7, then we want this code to run. Um, and as soon as something becomes true, if this is true, you should pretend like you added true here. And if number 
equal equals 7, or is true, or is equivalent to 7, then you need to see it as true. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind the logic. Um, same thing goes for ors. You can actually use the word or to check to see if either or of the statements are true. So if I actually put 8 here, so it says if name equals potato or the number is equal to 7, print potato. So if I go ahead and run this, right, it says name num is not defined. That's interesting. If I go ahead and run this again. Oh yeah, that was just an error here. I have no clue why that wasn't working. Anyways, so it says um, potato, right? It went ahead and printed it out. So cool. So that's kind of the rundown on conditional statements. Um, you can also shorthand these where you can do if name equals potato. I think you can do this where you do print potato. And this is a shorthand if statement. So if I go ahead and run this, you get potato, as you can see here. Anyways, that's all I needed to show you guys for uh, if statements. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I know that the community is willing to help out. I know that I'm willing to help out. Um, if you would like a more updated tutorial, um, for any of my tutorials, just leave a comment down below and I can help you out with that. If there's any particular issue, let me know. And, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.